Hello YouTube, so welcome to our 11th Unity tutorial and well yeah 11 slash 10 because as you can see I'm in the middle of processing number 10 but as I said in the last tutorial I really really wanted to do that sound so um, did some quick google searching found a couple found a couple of Hadoukens but they were mostly from Street Fighter 2 so it sounded like um, crackly or olden kind of thing and our game's pretty newish with sounds so did some more searching and I found this one and it sounds like this it's not the best one because I'm pretty sure the last time I heard Hadouken was like ha ah, then the Hadouken but oh well I like it um, so I found that that'll be in the description again if you don't want to use it you can always go and get something else get another one there's plenty of soundboards and stuff you can use, but to download it, right click download button, save link as, <coughs> uh, when it loads, fa rename it, save it to your desktop, and then import it to your project by simply right clicking, showing explorer, and then sticking it in your sounds. I've already done this, as you can see, so it works. Now we go back, click our character, and we find play a fire here, double click it to open it, open, there we go, and as you can see, last tutorial we um, slashed them all out, so unsla unslash that, unslash that, unslash that, and then all, all we should have to do, if it, hopefully if my plan's correct, is close the scripts, there, cl open the sounds, stick the Hadouken on, there, and now that should work, so every time you click it, it should go Hadouken, Hadouken, just like Falcon Punch. So, oh god, test Falcon Punch. Falcon punch. And then test Hadouken. Hadouken. That's quiet, that's really quiet. Hadouken. 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 My speakers pretty much have to be on full to play that. So... Untick, click your sound and click untick three sounds, click apply. Hopefully this helps it. If not, we may have a problem. Um, 2E. That's better. But it's not as loud as that. But it's pretty much the right sound. Now, the reason it was doing that is the sounds were being played on the fireballs. So as we pressed it, the sounds would follow the fireballs and just keep going. Since our audio source for our, what listens for any audio, is our camera, which is all the way back here. Where is it? Well, actually, well, it's just 10 whatever you meet as Unity users behind us. So, as you can see, we now have a Hadouken. Um, we will add some more, and I think some more, because, like, as you can see, the last time it didn't take that long, because the more we do it, the more we get better. So we need some more, so drop some um, ideas into comments and we'll add it in in another tutorial or add some more. Surprise me. Um, I'll always keep missing out, but we, we could have something like Yoga Fire, like off of, uh, what you call it, Street Fighter, or I don't think we'd Mortal Kombat really have anything like that, because they don't really... We could have reptiles acid spit like push, or whatever he says. I don't know. But yeah, so um we could also make our characters talk so when he walks up to someone he's like sits there and like hello, welcome and blah 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 blah. So yeah. But as I said last time we are going to take a look in the asset store. So um up crown the top bar, if you go to help, you have loads of here. Enter serial numbers basically for if you want to buy the pro version, which we don't yet. You have Unity Forum, which is, well, Unity Answers and Forums are basically the same, but in Unity Forums, that's more for, like, you can post your ideas as well as help. But Unity Answers is by far the biggest one to use for answering questions. I've posted on there many times. Like, I even posted on there with that broken look at script stuff, which is evil. But yeah. Unity feedback, you can, that's one I've been found out lately. You can, like, people submit their ideas and you vote on them. And the highest voted ones, they will try to put it in the one. The last time I checked, the highest voted one was um, Linux compatibility, which I personally would love to use because I'm a big fan of Linux. So, anyway, um, 
now that Unity Assets isn't there, we go to Window and click Asset Store, because I was in the wrong one completely. Hello you YouTube, yeah, so I'm back, and that took too long to load, I don't know why, I went down, rebooted router, blah blah blah, it all works now. So, as you can see, this is Unity, it is basically the big asset store, it's got all the different things, there's models, textures, audio, even complete projects, which is like, um, well, we could put our game in once we've finished and let other people download it. We could pay, make, don't think you can pay, make them pay for it because I think you have to buy it for that. But yeah, um, nature pack looks like a good one. Twenty nine trees and brushes, twenty eight more materials, twenty five textures of bark, leaves and branches. Like, yeah, so it's really good. Um, there is loads you can do. Look, games here. Gen component copier, playmaker, playmaker. I was reading about. Basically, um, I don't know if any of you've ever heard of Kodu or Kismat or something like that for programming. Basically, it's your drag and drop code. So, yeah, but it costs ninety five dollars. So, yeah, but I'm um, pretty sure you can buy it in pounds, euros, and everything as well. Um, so, thing, yeah. Um, so we'll have a look at three D models because we want three D models. Yeah. Um, we have characters, environments, props, vehicles, vegetation. Hmm. You could actually spend all day looking here, but I'm going to have to go with environments because our game is basically three lands, a building, and trees. That's it. So, as you can see, we have all the costly ones. And I mean, they do look really, really good, but for this purpose of the story, I'm going to use the free ones. So. Like those, da, 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 da. load. Come on, my internet's been so slow today. As you see, there isn't very many free ones, but it's still these are actually built into Unity. So you drag and drop, and you're pretty much done. So come on, load up faster. Fine, we'll just coaster -y gun battery. We'll click that because it sounds good. Super slow internet. As you can see, you can actually see what parts of a thing it is. So it has. FBX is as alt textures and it even has shaders so it's transparency. Medieval coastal gun battery. What's a medieval coastal gun battery? Let's Google it. Because apparently this doesn't want to load. Oh, it's gonna be like hell trying to download this. But oh well. YouTube's worth it. Right, come on, load a load. So medieval coastal Oh man, medieval coastal gun battery. I'm pretty sure it's like, well, it's going to be like a turret or something. Oh, that's awesome. We've definitely got to have one of them. Definitely. Yep, there it is. That's the exact one we're going to use. We're definitely sticking that in. Downloads instantly. And we have to log in. Luckily for me, I have a login, but I'm going to stop it here, log in, and I'll be right back so you don't want to see my details. Alright, so I activated my account, it is all good and done. Um, now, once you've done it, you click download, and it says please wait. Now we wait for to see what it happens, because I have actually never used this before. There we go, 1%, 2%. This could take a while. I wonder if you could do other stuff while it's loading. Hmm. We're looking at editor extensions, hopefully, 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 hopefully it's still downloading. Because if it's not, I'm going to be good. But, so we'll just have a quick look. Play, some for picture of Android, so it must be good. Um, Maya extensions, we want the free ones, I don't know. Simple vertex printer, distance tool, ooh. Um, stress ball, no. As you can see, though, I just so many things easy roads let's have a look at that because if we could stick roads into it, i think that'd be awesome so this would only be a demo of it I mean, it's got a lot of drives i think we'll leave that for now but let's go and explore the 3d models again because we need loads of 3d models hmm props mm. let's stick some vehicles in why not what do we want? Space now, nah, pass. Let's just have some land vehicles. Because what we could do later is make it so you can get into the land vehicles driving back. It'd be awesome. 
made a cool looking one. Six. Hmm. I think I'll stick to my website. Thank you. Um, what's this one? Click that. Ooh, there we go. It is downloading. Is it done? There we go. It is done. It just finished. There. So, we have our coastal gun. So, when it loads, it'll pop that up. Just click import. It will import it. So, basically, it's just extracted and put it in. And um, when it loads, back again. This one's going to have so many cuts in it. This video is just so. Shader warning, blah blah blah. Transparency. Temporary racing at 8. Ooh, well, we don't need that, so just clear. And let's get rid of the particles. Stand assets, where's it put it? There we go. Coastal gun. So we'll move that into our models there. And not that one, that one. Coastal gun. That one. There we go. We have a battery already set up for us. How helpful is that? An input. Go away. Doing my tutorial, the evil thing. Right, how big is it? I, I know Shang Shao Kahn's big, but I don't think it's as big as one of these should be. Should he? Hmm. Bigger or smaller? What do you all think? I'll just keep it like that for now. And then we'll add one later and we'll make it bigger and stuff later so if we stick this here like well we'll not we not want it there let's rotate it this way once it facing outwards 180 180 190 that'll do right there but as you can see it has no box collider or any kind of mesh on it so if we go to component physics and then add a mesh collider see if we can make it work on this and if we can find its mesh which should be that no it doesn't want to be that what's that low poly blah 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 it's just reading it no wait generate colliders no it won't work because it's a prefab ah revert oh well so click thing get rid of the mesh collider and we have to add a box collider, uh, which won't be that good. Ah, oh, that's not fair. It's got to be a better way. Never mind. Click box collider. It's going to be poor at the moment, but what can we do? So change the X size to that Y size. No Z size. Okay, Y size then. To that. Come on. I'll do. Is it tall enough? Too tall. Drag the Y size. No, do it right then. The Z size then. There. And as you can see, is it on the floor? No. We don't want a floating thing, because that will be bad. So we'll drag it down, stick it on our floor, which is about there. It won't fall through the floor, because it's got no rigid body on it, hopefully. So, as we play, game looks working fine. There we are, go. It's a bit laggy because it is quite polyed. We can't get up it yet. What we'll have to do is attach a find a way to attach a mesh collider to it, so that we can walk up it. But so yeah, <laughs> that's how to use the asset store. Um. You could just explore and make your game much, much better and stuff like that. Um, for now, I'm just going to drag that into... In fact, yeah, I'm just going to rename it to Battery Place because I can't remember the name of it. Battery Place, like so. So, um, I'll figure out how to do that into a mesh collider for the next tutorial. Has this got a mesh collider on it? Uh, that one, here. No, it does, box collider. So... If we we'll figure out how to do mesh colliders on them, um, mesh colliders will basically use the actual model they have and then convert it so that turn it into its own thing. So we, we could be able to walk up to it, walk around it, and we could walk into this building and stuff like that. So we'll do that for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't know how long this one is, don't know how short it is. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.